major convention set to happen here in Las Vegas next month has been called off for now. The president of the National Association of Broadcasters announced today that the NAB show will not happen because of concerns over the virus. 8 News Now reporter Joe Moeller has been following the story and he is live tonight with what he knows. Joe? Yeah, well, some uh, conventions are still happening, such as Con Expo, like the one happening here this week. It just ended for the day right now. It's going through Saturday. The president of NAB says they felt the right choice was to cancel the show due to the health concerns. Of course, I'm disappointed, like all of Las Vegas. Wednesday, a major announcement the National Association of Broadcasters show will be canceled due to coronavirus concerns. Some of the factors that went into their decision, however, is this designation of a global pandemic. Every year, roughly 90,000 people come to Las Vegas for the show and 1,600 exhibitors set up displays. Nevada Association of Broadcasters President Mitch Fox says NAB felt this was the right thing to do. It, it was a very, very difficult decision. They had a certain amount of exhibitors started pulling out, uh, you know, like Avid and Adobe. NAB is looking into possibly holding the show at a later date. Despite cancellations of other shows, Con Expo 2020 is still happening in Las Vegas this week. Uh, it's not quite as busy as usual. We spoke to a few people attending the show. With the extra precautions, such as hand sanitizer and a no-touching campaign, they felt comfortable. Compared to the 50,000 or so people who die from the flu every year or the 650,000 people who die from heart disease, <laughs> no, I, think, I believe that this can be managed. No one here feels like they're in mortal danger. We all feel pretty safe. Now with the NAB announcement of the show being canceled, this makes nearly a dozen conventions canceled here in Las Vegas due to the coronavirus. Reporting live at the convention center tonight, Joe Moeller, 8 News Now.